Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Christine and we are going to be finishing off the other half of our 50 pound tomato haul. I made the first half, we made salsa, and now the second half I'm going to be making some pasta sauce. So I thought I'd bring you with, so come on with. Okay friends, we are going to get to get in here. So I have a glove on my hand because I cut my thumb if you saw my last video, but I'm going to get these in the roaster roasting and we're going to be making some pasta sauce. So I'm going to get cutting and any of the bad parts will be going into our compost, but I just have my little handy dandy scooper and it just, what a little ingenious invention. And I am scraping out the insides. And then if there's any bad spots, I'm just gonna kinda cut them off. And these are so juicy, so I'm expecting quite a bit of liquid. And we'll just deal with that when we get to it. And I'm just basically kinda, the bigger ones I'll probably cut into thirds and just get them right in the roaster, skins and all. I scrubbed them really good. And I am just going to blend them up into oblivion. So once these get roasting, I just kind of have it on keep warm right now until I get them all in the roaster, if they'll all fit. If not, I'll just put a few on my stove in a, in a pan. So I'm gonna get going. I did a count and there are 59 tomatoes here. So I got a little bit of work ahead of me. So I won't bore you, so we'll move on to the next step. Okay friends, we pushed it to the limit. This is a 22 quart it's my turkey roaster, you know, one of the Nascos. But I actually turned it up to, I ended up keeping a couple, just they're really nice and firm. I was going to slice them up, but I think my husband and I would like a couple yet for BLTs. So I just turned it to 250, which is pretty much like your slow cooker in general, like that's the lowest setting, like when you turn it to warm. So I'm gonna get the lid on and we're going to get these cooking. So I have out my big spoon so I can do some stirring throughout the day. Okay, it's looking really good. And I just took the lid off and we're going to let it boil down without the lid and do some evaporating. So I kind of cranked up the temperature a little bit. Otherwise, it's looking really good. And so I bumped it up to 350 now, and it's just gonna do its thing. Okay, I feel like it's cooked down enough. I kinda went through it. And so I'm going to turn this off and let it sit while I get everything out. I gotta get my Vitamix out, and I'm getting my jars out, etc. So let's get at it. Okay friends, we have been letting the Nesco cool for about 20 minutes or so. It definitely is ready. It cooked all day since probably about 10 o'clock this morning by the time I got all of the tomatoes in. So I have my uh, Vitamix out, I have my rings, my lids, my seasoning, lemon juice. I have my jars heating up in my steam canner so I have eight pint jars in there. And then my lo I love my digital canner, so I'm also using the digital canner which holds seven pints. I'm not sure how much this will yield, so I'm just kind of, I filled everything to the max and whatever it is, it is. So I've got oregano, basil, thyme, and then I'm gonna actually put a little bit of lemon juice in the bottom to make sure its acidity level is correct, and then a little bit of salt. So I am going to start labeling this out into um, our new Vitamix, which is actually a refurbished one. They just had their huge sale. So I picked this up. This is the Vitamix 3500, I wanna say. And it also came with the food processor attachment, which you've seen in my other video. So um, I'm gonna fill this up. This actually holds 64 ounces, which is exciting and I am going to blend this like crazy. I did not remove any skins or seeds or anything. So I'm going to get this blended up, let it sit for a minute while I grab the jars out of the steam canner. The other one is still warming up, so I'm gonna do those first. All right. All 
right. Why not push it to its limit? Okay. And I am going to pulverize it. So, okay, that was about 45 seconds. Let me look. Oh yeah, and I got a spoon out. All right, there's still a little bit of pieces in here, so I'm just gonna go a little bit longer. Okay, now let's check. I boosted it up to three. Wow. Yep, it's definitely saucy. All right, so now let's get some jars out and we're going to get them funneled in. And here's my funnel. And I'm going to put the seasoning and the lemon juice in first though, but let's get our jars. Okay, we've got our jars ready. So first things first, we wanna make sure the acidity level is up to par. And I know it sounds kinda of silly, but we're gonna put quarter teaspoon of lemon juice oops, in each one. And if you're doing quart jars, you need to put a half a teaspoon. And I'm just following via ball recipe uh, book and what they suggest for safe handling. All right, there's that. And then I've got some organic thyme and I'm just gonna put roughly a teaspoon in each jar. Like this is what we like. This is organic thyme. And this is for pasta sauce. I just find that the pint jars for my husband and myself is kind of a perfect amount. And then this is my organic basil that I ground up. Oh, it smells so good. And you can add or subtract, you know, whatever seasonings that you like. This is what we like in our family. And it just kind of never fails. It's kind of basically like your own Italian seasoning mix. All right. And last one. I might have to just, oh yeah, that fits. Okay. All right, so now I love this about the Vitamix that you can literally just pour it and you want to leave a half inch head space. This looks amazing and smells amazing. I'm so happy with these tomatoes. I know they were kind of more of the juicier tomatoes, but and so I'm just going to kind of stir in the seasoning with my bubble popper and then it's kind of doing both things at once. And then you just kind of do it all over again. So that first batch did five pint jars. So I guess I'm happy that I heated up as many as I did because I just wasn't sure with uh, pulverizing it how much it would yield. So we'll go over all of those details at the end. Okay, that looks great. And then we will be wiping that off at the end. All right, so we just kind of start back over. Okay, next batch looks really good. All right, so this will be the first batch going in. And so now I'm going to go around and kind of stir it again. And then this kind of serves as the bubble popping. Okay, so now I've got my towel out and I am going to wipe the rims just like normal. This does get messier than regular, so you gotta really kind of wipe these rims off anytime you're using any type of seasoning. 
tends to kind of dry on there. Okay, Ooh, it's hot. I'm going to hand tighten. So it's a brand new lid. And hand tighten. Okay, I got them all jarred up and lids on. And now I'm going to put them in the steam canner. Okay, so now we are going to get the jars out of the digital canner. And like I said, I put seven in here. They are all warmed up because you want to put hot product in hot jars. So I'm going to get all these out. Okay, so we are going to do the same thing we did with the other jars. I'm going to put in the quarter teaspoon of lemon juice in each one. And the other ones are processing right now. And then we're doing our teaspoon of spices. So teaspoon of thyme, basil, and oregano. Okay, and I am going to just fill with what I've got left. And then we just start over. So I'm going to get this filled up. Okay, let's get this going. We got it all pulverized. So now I'm going to clean the rims. I'm going to rinse this off. So the other ones need to process a little bit longer. So I believe it is. 35 minutes according to the ball book, which is my favorite book to follow. Now's the time to check for any dings, etc. Kind of the same old routine. Like I said, anytime you're using spices and such, it does kind of tend to make a mess. So make sure you wipe the rims good and just finger tight. And I left a half, roughly half inch of head space. Okay, let's get these in the canner. I can use my hands because the water isn't up real high and it's not really blazing. Okay, and I've got one little lonely guy here. I'm just going to blend the rest of that up and put it in the jar for my husband and I to use. So I'm just going to run the canner how it is and let's get going. So this is about how much is left that I'm just going to put in this other jar for my husband and myself. And we are going to grab the lid. And I always like to have my instructions out and then I have the ball book out as well. So we are just installing this, turning it to lock, putting this down and turning it. So right now we are at fill jars, which we did. And I have it set at 35 minutes and it's going. I, so I don't have to babysit this one. So speaking of babysitting, so we are officially in the green. So, hey Google, set a timer for 35 minutes. And we are gonna process these. And we're starting now. We're gonna process these for 35 minutes as well. Okay, it just switched to where it says canning. And we're just letting it do its thing. This is still doing well. That took about 10 minutes or so. And we're all good. Okay, friends. I kind of finished cleaning up the kitchen here, but the first timer went off for the ones in the steam canner. So let's get them. Okay. So we have about seven minutes yet to wait on the digital canner and we're going to get those out and we'll be done for the evening. Okay, there's five minutes left on the cooling and we're going to get them out as soon as it's done. It just went off. Okay, the timer just went off. So we're going to open this and get this, get these out. Okay, all right, 
So we have 14 jars, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 jars. And that was roughly, what was it, 56 large tomatoes. And then I did keep uh, one separate quart jar for my husband and, and myself to use up. So that was pretty successful. And we're going to get this video closed up. Okay, friends, we made it through to the end. We yielded 14 pint jars, and I did see a little bit of siphoning action on one of them, which, you know, that happens. And then I kept some for my husband and I to use within the next week or so. So that was from our other half of the 50 pound tomato haul. And I did my uh, original count, and it was uh, 59 uh, tomatoes. And I ended up keeping three of them for us to use as BLTs. They're a little bit firmer, etc. But I hope you found this video helpful. And if you like videos like this, hit that like and subscribe. Or if you have any tips or suggestions, this is just the seasonings and things that my husband and I like. And use, you know, one a month. We've got some for gifts, etc. It's kind of that time of year. I'm feeling really accomplished. But I do appreciate you stopping by my little channel. And if you like videos like this, hit that like and subscribe. And I will see you next time on Christine's Routines. Take care and God bless. We're kind of down to the last few things of... Of what? <laughs> Tomato sauce. No, pasta sauce. Action on one of them I saw. And then I ended up... And my cat's meowing. We ended up yielding... I gotta count the jars. Whew, I gotta count the jars.